This is part one of the matter study guide. Okay, volume. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. This is one of your vocabulary words. So a balloon has volume. It's the amount of space it takes up. A baseball helmet has volume. Everything has volume. Another word you need to know is the word matter. And matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Mass. It's the amount of matter that's in a particular object. So how much uh, matter is in your shoes would be the mass of your shoes. How much matter is in your um, sandwich that you're going to eat? That would be the mass of the sandwich. And we usually measure it in grams, which are small, and kilograms, which are really big. All objects are made up of tiny pieces of material called molecules. Molecules are very, very small, and it's sometimes when a scientist wants to see a molecule, they have to use a tool like a microscope or a magnifying glass. There are three types of matter. There are solids, liquids, and gases. Solids. Solids have a definite size and a definite shape. It always stays the same. They always, if you take a, uh, let's say we take a baseball and we put it on the table, it's going to be the same size and the same shape as if we put it in a glass of water. And in a solid, the molecules, those little tiny pieces of material that make it up, the molecules are very tightly packed together and they can't move at all. Remember, it's a good thing that they can't move because uh, the molecules, if the molecules in your chair could move, you could end up sitting on the floor and that would not be a good thing. Some examples of solids include apples, shoes, desks, and ice. Okay, liquids. The volume of a liquid stays the same, so the amount of space it takes up, but the shape can change. If you pour it in a tall, uh, skinny glass, the shape is going to be very different than if you pour it in a very short, long glass. And in a liquid, the molecules are spaced apart, and they can flow around and move past each other. Some examples of liquids include milk, syrup, soda, and water. And gases. A gas has no size or shape. It has no volume at all. Basically, it just takes this, the shape and the size of its container. And the molecules in a gas are very far apart, and they bounce all over the place. Some examples of gases include oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, Helium, that's the gas they put in balloons, and if you breathe it in, it makes you talk funny, and water vapor. And this has been the first part of your science, uh, your matter study guide, and it's been a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade production.